You see, <clears throat> girls in America or women are never going to change because we don't give them the incentive to change. If I know that I can be a fat bitch, be fat, and I can still get dick. Well, yeah. Wait. Yeah. If yeah, if I know if I know that I'm a fat woman and I can still get dick, then what's the, why, why would I even want to lose weight if I can still get dick even though I'm fat? <sighs> a lot of guys lose weight because they know they can't get no pussy cuz they fat. They know they can't get no pussy if they look like Corey in the house. You know, they know that. So they lose the weight. You know, a lot of things that men do, they do it to get women because women create that is that that women create that incentive. Like now women's standards are fucking off the charts. So I, I don't even recommend even trying to follow their damn standards. But I'm just saying a lot of guys like, OK, women want men with money. OK, well, let me go get some money. OK, women want man with a good body. Let me get in shape. Women create that incentive. And men just try to follow it to get women, right? And, and maybe that's not a man's only reason why they did that, but it's definitely part of it, a big part of it. So women create that incentive, right? Where, you know, um, whereas a woman literally, literally doesn't have to do any damn thing and still at least get sex. Even if she can't get a relationship, she can at least get sex. You know, and there's somebody always willing to date some woman, man. Even if she's not the most attractive, there's always at least some man, you know, willing to date her. Even though she's not the best looking. Because like I said in the last video, you can have two men, you know, one man, one woman, both at the same level looks wise they're both a seven or both a six or both a eight or both a five and the women is going to always have the advantage when it comes to uh who has the highly likelihood of finding a partner you know so that's a, that's that so so women create the incentive Men, we don't create no damn incentive. We just sleep, you know, we we sleep with anything. We give attention to in, to every woman. And you wonder why women don't change. Right? You wonder why. If you're fucking fat women, they're not going to lose weight because they know, oh, I can still get some dick even though I'm fat. Right? I'm not really into fat girls. Could I date a fat girl? It depends. But even if that's the case, she'll have to be a fat girl who's trying to lose weight. You know, she, she can't be a fat girl and I see that she's not doing no effort to lose weight. If she's not doing no effort to lose weight, then fuck no. You feel me? You know, we got to set the bar, man. You know? You got to set the bar, like, yeah, like, um, but like, let's say if there's a fat girl and she's cute for, she's cute for a fat girl, right? She's cute for a fat girl. And let's say she does have a good personality and she does, and she would look good if she was, uh, uh, skinnier. I say, I say, Hey, listen, you know, I actually do like your personality a lot. You are a good person, but the only issue is you are big. You know what I'm saying? But I'm but I'm willing to stick by you if you drop the weight. And I and I'm willing to help you if you drop the weight. But if not, I have to move on. I would do that. I would do that. I would do it. I'll say, you know, you know, like I would tell her that. But if she says no, I'm sorry. Cool, and I'm going to be ghost. I'm not going to talk to her or fuck her. No, fuck her. You know, you got to set the bar. Women set the bar. Men, to men, we don't set shit. We just take anything we can get.
you know? See, women get what they want. Men, we just take what we can get. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. <laughs> Set the bar. Raise your standards. Now, now, don't have it be super fucking high like women. You don't have to play their game. Raise that shit to the damn rooftop. But still, man, if, if you know a bitch ain't about shit, don't fucking entertain her. Get out of her DMs. Quit liking her pictures. Quit commenting under her pictures. Quit trying to holla at her. A lot of these bitches don't be shit and they still have motherfuckers trying to holla at them. Only people who should be hollering at ain't shit bitches is ain't shit niggas. That's the only people who should be doing it. If you're not a, if you a decent dude, you shouldn't be trying to talk to, you know, you shouldn't quit being thirsty and all these motherfucking shit. It's like if a bitch does show her body, niggas go crazy. It's fucking ridiculous, man. You see, women have standards, man. Women only get freaky or thirsty over the top man. I be, I, I, back when I had Instagram, I would go to c celebrities' comments, girls saying all kind of shit. And then even on YouTube, where, where, um, where, like, YouTubers got videos titled, Reading My DMs. And, it, you know, you'll have you like, like uh, I believe a guy named Brandon Rashad reading his DMs. Girls were sending nudes, you know, nudes and <sighs> saying all kind of shit because he has a lot. He has a decent status and he got some little bit of money. So girls only, you know, show their body or want to fuck or get freaky with niggas that got some money in their pocket, got status. That's the standard that they set. I'm only getting freaky and fucking and sucking a nigga who got some money and status. Man, oh no, I'm going to stick my dick in anything. It doesn't matter what she look like or what or who she is as a person. It doesn't matter. I got to get my dick in it. You wonder why these bitches don't change who they are. <sighs> you wonder why? Because you just, you just have no standard. If I know I could be a complete douchebag and still get pussy... And, and and everyone kisses my ass, then why would I not be a douchebag? I'm still getting what I want. So, the fuck out of here. You feel me? It's crazy, dude. So, this might be my last video talking about women, because, you know, I've been kind of talking about women too much. Um, but yeah, this video I did came from Austin Holloman. And he just told people in the men in America, he just said, yo, just, just stop dating women in America altogether. He said that Kevin Samuels was trying to save America. He said, hey, man, fuck that. Just stop dating women in America altogether. He said, just don't date women in America. So I don't want to keep on talking about women. We already know what the problem is over here. I already explained it in previous videos. We already know this shit. There's no reason for me to keep it talking and going and going and going and going. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. That's another problem with dating, you know, people, you know, men don't create, create no incentives for women to change, you know, you know, that's why, you know, uh, cause I did fuck a bitch who wasn't shit. That's, <clears throat> that's because I didn't know the kind of person she, that's cause I didn't know the kind of person she was. Cause that was just a one night stand. So I'm finna stop having one night stands. I'm just finna just like, you know, at least talk to a girl a little bit and see her character before I hit. If her character ain't shit, I'm not hitting nothing. You know, if, if a girl ain't shit, sh she doesn't have the right to get some of my fucking dick. Fuck that. You know, no. If a bitch ain't shit, don't give her no fucking dick. Don't give her nothing. Only give your dick to girls who are, is about some shit. Worthy of it. Fuck these motherfucking bitches, man. I'm seriously. Stop being fucking thirsty. I understand us men, we have a high sex drive. It's, you know, it's hard to control our dick. It's hard. I, I understand that. I get that. But fuck that. You, when, every time you do some bullshit, you're making it harder for everyone else. <sighs> but, you know. But, hey. Even if it's impossible to get every man on board with this video, I'm going to at least do my parts. Because, you know... People don't never want to work as a group and work together. You know, it's, it's impossible to get everybody to work together for a common goal. People are, are just going to keep doing what they want to do. So this video may, may, be, may be futile for me to even say it, 
but I'm at least going to still play play my part on my end. And you you can do whatever you please, but that's all I'm going to say I'm out.